Hey everyone, welcome to another lesson in this TOSCA automation course. Today, we are going to talk about image-based test automation. Now, in the previous session, I talked about how you can identify controls by using an anchor control. And in this session, we are going to talk how you can identify controls using image-based test automation. So it's one of uh, the identification mechanisms provided by TOSCA, among many others. And this is useful when you are not able to identify controls using uh, different properties, right? So it's not unique uh, and you cannot identify it using different properties. So at that time, you have to fall back on other mechanisms like the anchor control, which we have already seen. And now we are going to see uh, another one, which is called uh, image-based automation, right? So, uh, it's the same scenario where we are trying to use the Google search uh, application to search for some uh, text, right? So we want to enter some text here and we want to uh, click on this Google search button, but this Google search button is not unique. That's we have already seen. Uh, there are two search buttons with similar properties and it's difficult to identify it using those properties. So now uh, what we'll do is we'll try to identify this Google search button using this particular image, right? So Tosca is going to identify this using this image and going to perform the required operation, okay? So let's see how, th how this will work, okay? So I'm in my module section. I'm using the same folder, which is the Google folder, and I'm going to scan the application, which is our Chrome application. So let's select uh, our Google Chrome and click on scan to scan the application. Um, it will open uh, the scan window. If it is in basic, you can click on advanced because we need uh, the advanced view in order to select the different identification mechanisms. Uh, now here uh, we are looking for the Google search button, right? And this is the control which we want to select uh, among some other controls like the text button or the text uh, bar, right, uh, which is obviously a unique control. The text box is a unique control, so we don't need to do anything here. But for the Google search, uh, we need to think about some other mechanisms because this item is not unique, right? So I'm going to go to identify by uh, menu, right? And here we have already seen properties, which is the default one. And then we have also seen the anchor, now the third option we are falling back upon is the image, right? So let's select this. And now this will open up our window on the right-hand side, which is called the identify by image. And as you can see, it is already showing a you a control image, right? But uh, what if I want to identify this control by the image itself, right? In that case, I need to add a image for this particular control, okay? So here uh, there is an option, uh, a picture with a plus button. So I can select that and that will uh, automatically change the window and the mouse pointer will change to a plus sign, uh, which will uh, tell you that you can now select a particular control area, which can be uh, selected as an image for that particular control, right? So on the right side, you will see there is uh, information dialog which says you can drag the cursor around the area used for identification. Uh, you can also press return if you want to use image of the defined control area which you have selected for identification. If you want to cancel this operation, you can always press escape. Uh, the other thing to note here is uh, the cross sign and the save button. So the cross sign is uh, to cancel this uh, particular operation. The save option is to just save the image which you have selected, right? So uh, although it is already showing me uh, the control area, I can also select uh, my own control area as you can see here, right? Uh, and that will prompt me that whether I want to consider image-based identification, right? Um, and the reason for this prompt is it is saying that this might result in a long duration without a visible X scan window, okay? Now, there are a lot of factors when it comes to image-based automation. We'll talk about it. 
but for now you can either uh, click on remember my decision and it will not ask you again this prompt or you can just select yes and that way uh, now we have added a image for this particular control right now the important thing to note here is the image properties okay so if you see down there are image properties uh, we can give it this image a name so I can, i'll give it search uh, the important thing is the screen resolution now i talked about different factors when it comes to image based test automation the reason it is not the best option when you are trying to automate the application is because of these factors right so screen resolution is one as you can see it is one particular screen resolution when i have added this particular control right or the image but what if uh, during execution the screen resolution changes to something else then uh, my image based automation is going to fail right because it is dependent on the resolution and lot of other things like the offset uh, which is the position of the image uh, which identifies that particular control on the screen uh, then there is method which is currently it is full screen but if it is not full screen then also there is a chance of failure right uh, then there is the accuracy as you can see it's not 100 percent it's 95 percent so all of these factors needs to be in place if the image based automation is going to work and it's a lot of factors right so there is no guarantee it will work every time but it is still an option uh, if there are no other options uh, no other ways to identify a particular control in a application you can always fall back upon this option but it should be the last resort not the first option right so you should always go through the properties first then try to use an anchor and then not then um, if all of these options are still not working you can still fall back upon this option which is identify by image okay so uh, now we have selected um, our google search and you can see here uh, along with the properties there is also a image option right which is telling that uh, this particular control is using both properties and image uh, as a mechanism to identify this item uniquely within that particular screen or application okay so once you do that you can click on save and uh, then click on close so that will build uh, the module okay so we have got our module now which is uh, we have got our uh, the text box and the button here right so let's go ahead and try it out um, i will i have already created a test case folder which is identified by image i just need to add that particular module in order to get it working right so let's first create a test case here so i will say search by image and here i just need to add my google module so i will say google here and this is the text box so i want to enter here something like tosca uh, in google search which is the button and here i'm going to click on it right so that's that's the similar uh, test case which we have created earlier as well no, no changes here it's just the module which is changing because we are changing the control um, identification mechanism right so let's go ahead and execute this and we'll see if it is working or not so as you can see uh, it was able to enter tosca and it was able to uh, click on that particular button but the only difference this time was we have uh, identified that particular button using a image instead of only properties or a anchor control right so that's what is all about image based automation uh, in tosca uh, that's how you can identify controls using images um, it's one of the options but as i said it's not always the best option there are uh, lots of other things uh, in image based test automation which we'll talk about uh, in the later sessions but hopefully this was helpful um, in 
identifying controls by another mechanisms which you can use while working in Tosca. So that's all for uh, this particular session. Uh, keep watching. Uh, we'll be coming up with more uh, interesting Tosca lessons. So subscribe to our channel and see you in the next session.